So we have a lady who is a 52 years. Come to you with worsening shortness of breath over the last two weeks. And worse at night. No fever cough. She was diagnosed with breast cancer two years ago. And she had a left complete mastectomy. But now the chest x-ray is shown in the image. Well, if you look into the chest x-ray, it's very obvious, it's an easy x-ray and it is definitely showing right-sided pleural effusion. Okay, pleural effusion is there. This is angle R obliterated, classical finding that we get. And of course, we are getting finding of pleural effusion. Well, now, examination of this right lower lobe lung field would, what finding we'll be getting in this patient? Well, it's a, rather you can say direct question on how to examine the patient and clinical finding what you expect in this patient. Well, the answer to this question is A, decrease, decrease, dull. That is, brush sound decrease, tactile fermitus decrease, and dull on percussion. This is the answer. Okay, well, but before I discuss this question, I have one more x-ray for you. What is your diagnosis of this x-ray? Write down the answer. Well, this is a case of hydropneumothorax. So in this, that's why we are getting a straight, absolutely straight line. Now, if you look into this X-ray, this is a, you are getting a type of curved type of picture is getting. We are not getting a straight line. This is pleural effusion, and this is hydropneumothorax. Right now, I have one more question for you. This patient of hydropneumothorax, whose X-ray you saw just now. For the classical examination finding by which you are sure that we are dealing with hydropneumothorax, write down the answer. Well, the answer is succussion splash. What you do, you keep your stethoscope like in this case, you keep your chatho over the right chest and you shake the patient like this. Just like you take a half, one, one liter bottle having half filled bottle and you just shake it, you get a splashing sound, exactly splashing sound you get. This is known as succussion splashes there, okay? So now we come back to our original question, given the history of breast cancer in our case. And we may think about malignant effusion due to breast cancer recurrence. Well, just to inform you, she was diagnosed with a breast cancer two years ago and had left complete uh, mastectomy was done. Okay. Well, now physical examination finding can be helpful in differentiating pathology. Of course, uh, at the moment when we are examining patient, we can only find out whether it is a fusion or consolidation, whatever it is. That's the question. Well. In this, when we talk about, we take one by one. If we are talking about pneumonias, breast sound and increased fermitus is there. This indicates consolidation, right? But when we talk about effusion or pneumothorax, then, uh, then they insulate sound and vibration. So in that case, breath sound and decreased tactile fermitus will be there. The point to note it, we got two pathologies. One is, this is the lungs and we have a consolidation. And this is where we are auscultating. And sound, of course, air is coming. In consolidation, it's a, it's a, it can transmit the sound much better. The sound will be increased. But if it is the air or it is the liquid is there 
and the air, and the air comes like this air and and liquid they will insulate the sound so in this case both both that means best sound and parameters both will decrease it is simple physics now one thing is there we are getting dullness in plural fusion now i'm talking about percussion we are getting dullness on percussion in effusion and lung consolidation just to remind you in pneumothorax it is hyper resonant hyper resonant on percussion so in common thing between plural effusion and pneumothorax was reduce breath sound and reduce tactile parameters the difference between the two that mean between plural effusion and pneumothorax is regarding percussion agree but the common thing between plural effusion and consolidation is increased dullness to percussion but again i have one more question for you write down the answer we are getting dullness in both effusion and consolidation but what the difference between that two write down the answer Well, the answer is that in case of plural effusion, you get stony dullness. Okay, stony dullness is the only condition where which can see is a plural effusion. This is one of the diagnostic feature. Okay, so I hope you are clear about it. Now, hyper resonance is due to air filled cavity, which we can see in pneumothorax. Maybe emphysema also. The point I mentioned to you. With this background, we talk about other option. De now, in case of option B, decrease, decrease, and hyper resonant, and that I told you this we see in pneumothorax. The point I discussed: breath sound decrease, vocal tactile parameters reduce, and hyper resonant that we see in pneumothorax or emphysema, wherever the lungs are full of extra air. Well, now look into chest X-ray. This is the chest X-ray that you are getting, and this is the all pneumothorax. So you should be able to differentiate between the pleural fusion, hydro pneumothorax, and nuca and pneumothorax also. Decrease, decrease, and dull. Okay. Well, normally these two go together. Decrease, concordant. These two findings are usually not discordant. So that's why, and this there's nothing like this. One will decrease, another will increase. Nothing. There is no condition where we have this finding. Increase, increase, dull, and this is typically of consolidation. Okay, increase breath sound, tactile parameters, and dull on percussion. But again, what type of breathing? What type of sound we get? Stop the video. Write down the answer. In a case of lobar pneumonia or consolidation, well, uh, answer is that we get a bronchial breathing. Okay, so it's a bronchial breathing, and the sound is increased. And other than the down percussion, and chest X-ray will show you blunt uh, will show you consolidation, but. One thing which is really differentiate from plural fusion is it does not lead to blunting of costophrenic angle. This is seen in plural effusion, and this is not seen. At time you are getting a picture like this. Suppose this you are getting lungs. Their lungs are there like this thing, and you are getting consolidation. This hole is consolidated. Hole is consolidated, and you can see little bit, little bit. This is free. So called cost to phrenic angle is clear. This is one point which differentiate pneumonia from pleural effusion. This will be always involved in pleural effusion. This is a very important point. Okay. Now look into this. Look into this lovely picture of X rays, lobar pneumonias. No pneumonias. And you can see pneumonias. So lovely picture. You can have a comparative of all the X-rays and vesicular normal resonance. This is a normal peripheral lung field. Okay, normal field. 
So now, this is a very, very important table. Cannot afford to forget this table. So auscultative finding in different condition. Normal lungs, you have bronchovesicular. Vesicular breathing is there, but in near the high level, it may be a little bit of bronchovesicular, but by and large, we always talk about vesicular. Tactile normal, resonance normal, and all normal. No mediastinal shift. That means this is the mediastinum. Okay. Th that means, and this you can appreciate by putting your hand uh, in, this, uh, in the notch and you can see the trachea is in the central position. But now consolidation like lobar pneumonia, this increased bronchial breathing and you get a crackles are there and the, uh, this inflammatory increase, dullness reduced, there is no mediastinal shift. Plural effusion, best sound decrease or absent, tactile inflammatory decrease, Dullness and it is used stony dullness. Don't forget stony dullness and away from effusion. If it's a large effusion, trachea will be shifted to other side. This the trachea will be shifted. Let let's say effusion is on this side, the trachea will be shifted to other side. Push. Pneumothorax again decrease or absent tactile decrease, but hyperazonin away from pneumothorax. That means difference between the effusion and the resonance is by, by percussion. Finally, emphysema, breast sound decrease, decrease, hyperresonance, none. The difference between emphysema and pneumothorax is regarding mediastinal and shift. No shifting here. Atelectasis, this is due to, due to mucus plugging. De de uh, decrease breast sound. Decreased tactile fremitus, dullness on percussion, and it is toward, it is pull. Uh, the trachea or, and the middle sternum will be pulled toward the atelectasis. That means you want to differentiate between atelectasis and pneumothorax. You look into the middle sternum, it will be toward, uh, in atelectasis, it will be away in pneumothorax. Well, I hope you like the session. Just to inform you, we have following courses for you. Smart Medicine, there are 350 hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. It includes all super specialty and allied subject, covering A to Z, including basic concept about every topic. Second, we have tests and discussion. There are more than 1,000 questions which, with discussion of the questions sample question and discussion you saw in this session. Now, third thing is Medicine Simplified, which is a textbook of medicine. Harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine, but it is too vast. Reading one page of Harrison, you need half an hour. To understand, you need two hours, but you need only two minutes to forget what was written in that page. Then what is the solution? We have Medicine Simplified, it's a textbook of medicine, but so-called Mini Harrison. It's a summary of what you need to read from Harrison. The book is available in Amazon also. Now, these three things are more than enough for your MD, DNB Medicine and Family Medicine final exam preparation, need SS exam preparation. You don't need to read any other book. These three are complete in all the aspects. For more detail, you can contact at this number. It's a mobile ad, as well as WhatsApp. And this is my personal email ID. Anybody want to reach to me, you can contact me at this email ID. Thank you very much.